Hey guys, in this video I have brought you another new topic around how do you convert JSON to dictionary in UI path, okay? So in the last video I have shown you how do you convert JSON to data table. Now this time how do you convert JSON to dictionary, right? So how to do that? Let's see it in this video, okay? JSON to dictionary. So first of all, let's do one thing um, to understand this. Uh, let's go to a website called request response.in okay so if you already already aware of this website by watching my previous videos it's great so what do you do uh, in in this one hit on the get button and click on this link and copy the entire url let's go to the uipa studio and let's install um, uh, let's use the activity http request so if you do not get the http request activity which is the package you should install UiPath web API dot activities. Very good. So all this I have explained. So you must be knowing if you are very new, not to worry, simply install that package and hit on. Okay, so I copy paste the endpoint or that URL which I have shown you. Okay, and this URL how to get I showed you. All you have to do, click on that get button. Okay, click on this get button and click on this, copy the URL and paste it. So this much is understood. So in this one, request method should be get we want to get some json data and the response type is json and i'm going to hit on preview and see how the data is appearing and this entire data i'm going to copy to a notepad okay copy to a notepad just to so that we understand what they are and then hit on okay so done now for this activity let's create a variable which is going to hold this data and the variable can be created um in the response content okay so for the response content let's quickly create a variable so this is the http data hit on enter okay so the variable is again multiple times um i have informed okay this variable is again a string type okay so let me increase the font size okay so now the output of this is a string data now i want to I got the string data the data would appear something like this right this exactly this is how the data would appear I would like to convert this to a dictionary so when I say dictionary you should always remember dictionary is a pair value of key and a value okay it's a pair of key and value key value pair what they call so it's a dictionary key and value so here you can see there is a key and there's a value so this is a the page is a key here and this is a value same thing this is a key and this side is a value this is a key and this side a value okay so the value can be of any data type okay it could be of different data types so now let's see how do i convert into a dictionary that is our main aim so let's use the next activity which is deserialize uh, json okay deserialize json so with this the data which will go inside this is http data from the previous activity and the output of this okay look at this this is important for you to convert into dictionary what do you do click on the type argument by default it will be uh, j object json object click on this go to browse for types okay so here you have to type something called dictionary okay simply type dictionary and here you find system collection uh, dot generic t key and value okay key and value so you select this once you select the first value uh, the key is always a string okay because it will be always be written in double code so it's a string and the right the right side value could be of anything okay so that's why you should go and select object clear string and object this is how the combination of your dictionary should be so string and object and click on okay. object it can take any kind of a data doesn't matter so i have done that so once i do it let's create a variable and give it a name let's say dictionary one it on enter so now this variable if you look at this is a dictionary of string and object okay now <clears throat> how do i see those values to see those values you need to use a for each loop okay i'm using a for each loop because it will be collection right there's a collection of different keys and values so now if you see the json has had got lot many details right these are all each one single object and there is an array also look at this there is an entire array okay so this one these are very simple key and value simple value but here the key contains an array of json objects okay 
So in this case, how it is appearing? Let's see it. So he, what is the variable we have given? Dictionary one. Okay. Now let's see how I can see those values. So for that, we can use the best option is to always use a message box, right? Any programming language you go for a print just to see how the output is. Same with message box. So here, uh, what I can do is I can say item. Okay. Dot. Uh, if you type key so what would happen the key the left side thing would be shown and then i will use a plus sign and i will say um, i'll give us some arrow symbol okay i'm giving an arrow symbol and here i'll use a plus sign and i'm going to say item dot uh, value okay i hope you can see that or else let me open it in a slightly bigger window so item dot key item dot value what is the error um, shikton prohibits operance of type object for operator plus okay object type so let's do one thing no? dot to string and then dot to string okay let's see you know how, how this entire data is coming let's debug it okay so what this is doing this is supposed to go to the uh, uh, website get the json string and then once it has the json string then it's going to deserialize as per the definition that we have given it should deserialize in terms of dictionary you can see it has started okay now the first value that's why i asked you to keep it in a notepad so that you can compare okay so you can see the first value which has come page in two. So I can the moment I write item dot key, it will give the left side key name, and the item dot value will give the right side value. Okay. So you can see page two has come. Okay. So now uh, per, per page six, this second value has come. Then total should come. Let's see how this array is coming. Okay. Total twelve has come. This one has come. A total pages 2 should come okay so now i have converted the entire thing into dictionary and i'm looping a for each loop just to demonstrate now you see this for this one which is a json uh, key right which is the json key and the value contains multiple pair of values see multiple uh, multiple pair of values so this is appearing in in form of a uh, array the entire thing has come okay so you so how to convert to a data table this array all these videos i have already created on my channel you can have a look so on my channel go and understand json json array data table how do you convert to so same thing i have already explained in case you have not watched it you can take benefit of those videos if not if you are just stick to this dictionary i think this video should have already helped you so how do you convert a json to dictionary so thank you guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit on a like on all the videos that you may be watching from my channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for all the support. Bye-bye.